question this. This just doesn't make a lot of sense. And John, though, says, whoa, whoa, wait a minute, Nancy, Nancy, slow down, slow down. We can't do anything yet. We have to wait. And Nancy says, well, John, I appreciate the warning. What do we have to wait for? John says, we have to wait for a group of people in the company that are affectionately referred to as those guys. Those guys. Okay? By the way, we say guys, men or women. Men or women. We have to wait for those guys. So Nancy says, well, I appreciate the warning. I mean, I, I really appreciate the warning. I don't want to step on a third rail here. Uh, who, who are those guys? And John says, I don't want to disappoint you, and I certainly don't want to frustrate you, but that turns out to be the number one problem we have in the company right now. Nobody knows who they are. <laughs> <laughs> but, but we have to wait for them. Okay? Now, when the leader comes along, is Craig. Young guy, just starting off. He has a kill on that, by the way. The young guy, starting off. And Craig says, because we do talk to ourselves, Craig says to himself, Nancy brought up a very good point. It ought to be pursued. We ought to challenge. But he is sensitive to John's point that we have to wait for those guys. But the key thing he picks up on as a leader is that since nobody knows who they are, Craig says, why don't I tell them I am one of those guys? <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Right? And so the question that I ask folks of any age group, of any tenure, is have you reached a point in your career where the light has gone on, I'm one of those guys? I'm one of the men and women that's going to do something about it. Or are you kind of waiting around for those guys? Right? And I, I think it's an important question because there's a lot of people that are waiting around for those guys. And interestingly enough, it doesn't stop with younger people. I, I talk to a lot of groups all over the world, and I, I was talking to a, a large global company, um, very large global company. They have 30,000 people, and I had the CEO and the top 100 people in the company. And we were talking about leadership, some of the topics we're talking about today. And we took a break, and the 100 folks are grabbing some water, some refreshment. And I was behind two or three of them at the reception line, and I couldn't help. I overheard them. The one guy said, well, what are we doing about this issue? And the other guy said, well, we have to wait for those guys. And those guys, we have to wait for those guys. And we started the meeting again. I thought, you know, I, I actually think of a good way to start the second half of this meeting. And I said, being an old math major, I think you said you have 30,000 people in the company, okay, around the world. And I've got the top 100 people here. Now, that means there's 29,900 other people in the company that aren't here today. And I said, I don't know who these people are, but I'm pretty confident those 29,900 people think you are those guys. <laughs> right? So does the light go on or not? And by the way, having thought about this now, by the way, one of the great things I find about teaching, the reason I love teaching, is I realize until I can explain something clearly to a group of very bright people, I may think I understand it, but, but not really. You, you really learn something when you've got to explain it to other people. And I realize sometimes it's really helpful to explain what, what things are not. Okay? So this whole idea of thinking through how do you really want to think about young people thinking about this, or at any age in the company, Here's a very, very simple way of describing this. Have you and your team reached a point, are you watching the movie or are you in the movie? It actually turns out to be that simple, okay? Because wherever you are in the role, whatever you're doing, are you watching the movie or are you in the movie, all right? So here's, here's the example I'll give you. So we've got Nick and we've got Laura, okay? And Laura says to Nick, why is the company doing this? This just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Nick says, you know what? You're absolutely right, Laura. In fact, here's 10 reasons why. What we're now doing makes absolutely no sense at all. And what's really interesting is, not only is Nick watching the movie, he's actually writing a movie review. He's pretty close to this, okay? Now, if you're in the movie, it's very, very different. If you're in the movie, and Laura says, why are we doing this? Nick says, you know, that's a good point. Let's ask Tom. Let's ask him. Let's find out because we're going to do something about it. Okay? Or being really into movies, I think of it as you're watching the movie. I keep things very simple. You're watching the movie. The bad guys are getting in the getaway car. You put your popcorn down in the next seat. You jump on the screen. Right? You're not watching the movie. You're in the movie. But what I always tease everybody when we talk about leadership is there's a lot of people who talk about that they want to be leaders, but do they really want to be leaders or do they really want to write movie reviews? Right? It's a lot easier to talk about all the problems and all the issues than to do something about it. And I, I learned this very early on at Baxter. Baxter had an amazing number of, of leaders. In fact, one of the things we were always most proud of, even today, if you look at publicly traded healthcare companies, 
One third of the publicly traded healthcare companies, the CEO at one time worked for American Hospital Supplier Baxter. Okay. okay. And what's, what's, what's interesting to me is this whole idea of we're not going to watch anything. We're going to jump in and we're going to do something. So this whole idea of keep it simple, roots, trees, forest, and start as soon as you can. Right? So just a couple of characteristics, I, I think. Any, any comments about this? Because I know we did say it was going to be a dialogue. So far it's a monologue so far. <laughs> and any comments about it? Thoughts? Reactions?